back. We love highlighting the good things going on in our community and tonight we're shining the community spotlight on a special effort to lift the spirits of people who are battling cancer here in Western New York. I got the chance to witness part of a special giveaway at Roswell Park firsthand and hear from the folks behind it all. Spending the holidays in a hospital room isn't what 134 Roswell Park patients had in mind this year. But in the hopes of making their holidays brighter, the Jackie Hirsch for All Foundation is putting a little spin on things Thursday night. Patients will be treated to a song and a dance by our sponsors, our biggest sponsor group, which is Dancers Give Back, and the girls will go in and present the gift cards to the patients. And checking it twice, he's gonna find out who's not here. Thanks to Target and Wegmans, they're getting $400 in gift cards. I wasn't able to come along for the distribution due to HIPAA laws. It's all in the name of 23-year-old Jackie Hirsch, who passed away from lymphocytic leukemia in September of 2008. For the last eight years, this annual giveaway has been put on by her parents, Tori and Sharon Hirsch. My patients um, who are unfortunately have to be here for days or weeks of therapy and are missing the holidays have the opportunity to get something that they can use to buy gifts for their families when they're not there. Dr. Eunice Wang was Jackie's doctor. During her cancer fight, she went into remission and received two bone marrow transplants, but unfortunately died within a year of her diagnosis. I would encourage everybody to, um, to be involved and to think about this. Jackie's life is reflected in all the giving that we give, and every year I think about her and how she could have actually been here now with the therapies that we now have for leukemia. Jackie Hirsch for All Foundation was originally started to help her with her expenses. It now helps other patients with their expenses in more ways than one. We hope she would say she's proud of what we've done in her memory and we hope that um, she would know that we're doing this because she asked us to try to help other patients and families and try to help found a, find a cure. So I think she would tell us to keep going and not quit because she never quit.